Welcome to Serial Podcast Live. Yeah, yeah good. good. All right, do an intro and let's get this going. All right, I'm Gerard Peralta. And I'm Kevin Peterson. All right, and I'm Ryan Benoit, and this is Serial Podcast 9, episode 77. 77. 77. What did you think? What episode did you think it was? Nine? I thought we were in the Every 80s, episode. bro. Jesus, man. I mean, the 80s <laughs> are sick. We're living in the 80s. Do you want to hear my Tesla story? <laughs> Okay, what's a Tesla story? I got into a shouting match with a guy in a Tesla yesterday. Really? I That's really so crazy. Yeah. I've heard so many people can you just have like on. road rage stories lately. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan texted me about this the other day, the morning, and I was like, oh, oh don't tell me. Save it for the podcast. All right. All right. So uh, let me paint you a picture now. Uh, so it was raining, driving down Maine. Uh, and there is a bus in the like in the one lane, and I don't want to get stuck behind the bus. So I move over to change lanes, and as I'm changing, somebody just starts flashing their lights at me, and I'm like, "Whoa, what the hell?" And I like move Kipper, back. Where are you driving the Prius? Driving the Prius. I go to change a lane so I don't have to be behind a bus. There's a lane that I can <clears> be in. There's enough, more than enough space. In fact, there's so much space I can see this person like. There are a few cars back, like flashing their high beams at me. And I'm like, yo, what did I do? So I quickly like get back in the lane and I still have time to be like, check my rear view, check wait, my wait, blind wait, wait. spot. You get back in your lane? Yeah, I move because I'm like in transition okay. and he starts okay. doing it. And I'm like, yo, what okay. the fuck's happening? Like danger, danger is happening. And then I'm like, man, what the hell is this guy doing? And then I see yeah, it's a screw Tesla. screw this guy. Yeah, I'm like, okay. I see it's a Tesla. And I'm like, man, I'm not going to get stuck behind this car because this guy doesn't know what's going on. Go back in, go around. And he just starts honking on the horn. He's honking really? on the horn. And I'm like, is it well, farting or is it honking? Event? It's not like a yeah. stupid fart noise or something. No, shit. no. Yeah. And beep, 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 beep. Like laser, laser beams. Yeah. Yeah, not any of that. And so the dude rolls up and he's already got his window down. And I'm in the Prius. What did and he look like? What did he look like? Older dude than me, like bigger than Gerard, like oh. you know, pretty big guy. He's already got his window down. And I'm like, guess we're fucking doing this. And I don't know <laughs> what he thought was gonna happen, but I rolled down my window. And I I guess maybe part of me thinks because I was in a Prius, he just thought he was gonna like roll up and yell at a window. And I got my window down and he starts, he's like Fuck you. And I'm like, nope. Really? And that was his first? Yeah, he goes with fuck you. So then I'm like, fuck Jeez. you. Move your fucking appliance out of the fucking seat. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. And now he's yeah, like. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, he's like, holy <laughs> shit. You know, like, now I'm being like, a that dude in a sucks. Prius is sucks. making fun of my car. And he's like, <laughs> so he starts swearing at me more. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Shut the fuck up. And he's swearing at me. He's like, you want to pull over and like. Get into this, I'll pop you right in the face. We'll go. And so then I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, no, I don't want to fucking fight you. I'm a fucking grown up. That's why I'm not going to get did out of my car. Yeah. Did you say that to him? Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm a fucking grown up. I'm not going to fucking do that. This is so good. And then I'm like, I got to get out of the way of the fucking bus. He's like, I don't care what you got to do. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of here. And he's like, oh, you can't you fucking talk to me that way. I'm going to fucking come for me. I'm like, whatever, man. And then we drive off. And then he just like pulled off the street. He was like turned off Maine. But I was like, yo, you probably fully thought you were going to yell at a closed window. Like maybe some lady was driving it or you thought it would be like some like just pushover dude. And I was like, no, nah, I'll do this. You know, yeah. like and that's so yeah, good. Dude. I'm okay. so proud of you. That is like the best thing I've ever heard come out of your mouth. I can't believe how aggressive you were to that dude. That is the yeah. best. Yeah, he's probably yeah. Just like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> well, I think he was just it's like, funny because he probably like, tries to show up at like a, a seven, and like he like yeah. rides at like yeah, a nine. No, and I half. Was like, yeah, not it. I was not in the. Were movie. you having a bad day already? I was having like a. Pretty it sounded bad like you were. Day. I don't know. It was like fucking. It was a weird go. But yeah, I assume the guy. Like, could you imagine, like, he probably thinks he's pretty cool in a Tesla for some reason. And then some dude in, like, a 2010 Prius is just <laughs> shitting on his car. <laughs> you said appliance, like, right away. Yeah, That's I said, so like, good. right away. Like, because I now, probably <laughs> partly to do with the podcast, have, like, very low tolerance for a lot of Tesla drivers. It's like, yeah. I just find, like, 
to Kevin's point, Tesla drivers are because there's so many of out of them out there, but there seems to be like an a, a fairly high percentage of Tesla drivers like that are just doing whatever the hell they want or not being like great drivers. And yeah, so I have like a lower threshold for that. And especially like he opened with like cursing at me and I was like, oh, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny because like I really tried to because, you know, we have friends that have Teslas and I'm just like, not every Tesla driver is going to suck, man. But like, man, it is relentlessly bad like fucking model threes model y's model x's like this motherfucker across my across the street from me has they have two model x's like i don't know why the fuck you need two of those things i don't know what the fuck anyways yeah see he always backs out and and you know it's like it's super loud when it back hold on i gotta close the door one second okay Yeah, it's super, you know, it's got the when it yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. so fucking loud. And like I'm sure it's got a hundred cameras. I'm sure it's got fucking 360 view. I'm sure it's got every fucking thing in the goddamn world. And I live on a street that nobody, nobody fucking drives on at all. This yeah, motherfucker right. takes takes 10 minutes to back out. <laughs> garage is open. He's like, you know, they're yelling at each other, and he's like, you know it's in reverse he stopped he moves yeah. fucking two feet he stops you know fucking and and i don't know why he always does this. He, you know he backs out normally you back out out of your fucking driveway over the curb if there's a curb or a sidewalk and then turn onto the fucking street this motherfucker every day backs onto the sidewalk so so every time i see him his car's like like fucking crooked ass like almost on the lawn you know, like on the sidewalk in reverse. Woo, 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 woo. I'm like, man, fucking drive the damn thing. Like, can you fucking go on with your like day? It's just so irritating. <laughs> All I hear for the fucking 10 minutes is like, woo, 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 and he takes some 10 minutes to back this thing out. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Dude, so, I this mean, other dude right across from me also has a Model X or y, the one with the gull wing doors, whatever. I don't know what they do. I don't know if he's got something inside this thing or it's just coming from the thing, but he has this fan. It is unbelievably loud, dude. It sounds like, like, you know how like an air conditioner sounds, right? Like when it's running, yeah. sometimes you can hear, you know, it sounds like that, but like times fucking 10, it is unbelievably loud and it's coming from inside his Tesla. I don't know what the fuck it is. So sometimes they have the door open. They have a going door open and they're just standing there, like looking in it, and it's got this ungodly loud fan noise. And I'm just like, what in the <laughs> fuck is even? Let's do a new segment where we introduce a guest. Uh, hello, we have a guest this evening. It is a 42 year old woman who likes golf. Her name is Linda. Welcome, hey, Linda, Linda. Now Linda. that we got you on the horn, <laughs> Welcome, yes, Linda. it is. It is. It is a pleasure to be here. Why don't you talk about yourself and who you are? Uh, I'm Linda. Well, I, I was like, I don't want to get. Uh, our guest tonight is Cedric Scobar. He is a 28 year old man from Vancouver. Am I? I don't know. Not that's the thing. I don't know. Her. I don't know how old you are. Or, or, so I, that's, uh, I don't like, think I'll he's just... 28. How old are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm 29. 29. Oh, wow. 29 and feeling yeah. fine. Babies. Yeah. Well, babies. Yeah, 29 is a good uh, year. I'm young. A good vintage, Cedric. should appreciate 29. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Yeah. Um. So... Those who are uh, fluent, no, that's not right. Um, well <laughs> aware, uh, in the know of serial nine content, I feel like you will see Fred Frederick. You Fred will see <laughs> <laughs> Freddy. I, I Frederick. feel like of, of yeah. Frederick. Frederick's of Hollywood. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I and feel Frederick like you will... more. What? You're fine. <laughs> Stop it. Frederick, Frederick's equally <laughs> annoying. Frederick's yeah. your twin. Frederick's, Frederick's drunk Cedric. 
Uh, John Cedric, Frederick. All right, all right, all right. Those who are aware of Serial 9 content have probably seen Cedric in some of it. I feel like he's helped produce some Serial 9 content. Uh, not yeah. No, yeah, a little, little shaky for someone that's a, a moving steady cam, you know. I don't, I don't get it, but it's fine. Anyway, uh, we filmed the uh, best. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did film, but he a lot of it was not usable. <laughs> it was shaky, very shaky. Mm-hmm. But it's fine. Cedric's out there. He's giving it his best at creating media. But uh, Cedric, you are, I would say, primarily a drifter. Yes. Yeah. Cedric's, yeah. Cedric's my old, my road partner. He is, yeah. My old road dog. Something yeah. like that. Something Good. like that, indeed. It's very uh, interesting having a conversation with Cedric where he doesn't pepper us with questions. So this will be yeah, exactly it's not really. It's like, like or in, or 30 himself. questions with Cedric. Yeah. It and could be a whole him. other segment. And the thing could is be. with Cedric is you never know if he's trolling you or if he's genuinely interested or if it's like just a little bit of both mixed together <laughs> and he's just doing it. You know, he's doing it. Just doing Ryan, it. I'm always interested. You're always interested. And what are you going to do See, with even that right there? Was that, you know, is that? Yeah, exactly. Is that genuine or is that a troll? <laughs> it's uh, genuine. Perfect. Okay. What what beer are you on to now, Brian? I'm on <laughs> beer number two. It's a super flex beer that I believe Kevin gifted me. Nice. Yes, it Ooh. is. Yeah, I had a great notion, and now I'm on to a super flex. I saw that's you were like, drinking a beer. A, that's a great combo. What are you drinking, Cedric? I am a, drinking some, uh, Mariner uh, blueberry sour. Blueberry yes. sour. So you also yeah. have a, you also have a blue beer. Yes. I do. Uh, well, it's more purple. Mariner. Oh. From Mariner. Mariner they're technically Mariner. in Coquitlam, I believe. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, Coquitlam or Fort Moody? They're like familiar. in that strip mall right outside of Fort Moody. Okay. We'll go with that. R- Ryan knows. Well, I'll check because maybe could he's right. You, but... Ryan could give you the post. You know, it, it does say Coquitlam on the beer, so I'm going with Coquitlam. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, yeah. How, how dare you question Ryan about a beer? A yeah. Beer? Brewery's location. This, yeah, exactly. I don't know a lot about a lot of things, but I know a, a bit about that. I do know the lyrics to "Just a Friend" by the Bismarck Key, Cedric. Are, yeah. are you sure? <laughs> oh, maybe no, you did. didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Cedric. All right, Cedric. Why are you on the podcast? Uh, I don't know because I bug you guys too much. The correct answer is because you're invited. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was invited. <laughs> All right. Cedric, what do you drive? We've said you're a drifter, uh, and you've been very polite, and you said that you weren't going to uh, speak unless spoken to. So we're going we're gonna to pepper you with questions. It's going to yeah. be the opposite oh, of what are, you're right? used to. Okay. Yeah. So introduction to car? Cedric. What is your drift car? Ooh, it is a 1993 Toyota Soar. What's tell the engine transmission? Okay. Tell me more. It is a... <laughs> One JZ with a BMW DCT trans. Ooh. Ooh. That's a little bit of like everything it? that Gerard should love. Is that a VVTI 1J or no? It's a non VVTI 1J. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, uh, it's uh, something. It's, it's something. It does not like to drift right now. So Why yeah, is the, it not? The DCT like to drift? is like a new, a new thing for you this, this year. Yes, because the DCT is very new, and we do not have it set up properly, it seems like. What did you run before that transmission? I ran a uh, stock uh, Aristo Trans. Oh, really? Auto. auto Automatic, Aristo yes. Trans. Yeah. Okay. So why do you have an auto and a DCT? Yeah. Oh, because the car has hand controls. Make I sure cannot walk. I, my legs do not work, Ryan. Well, I know, but the people listening don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I want to clarify for you. Just, just, so, yeah, you just so you know, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't know if you just think I'm in there for the long con sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it a troll? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. I mean, the ultimate like, troll. <laughs> he just, like, gets up one day. 
<laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fool this rube from Saskatchewan, and everybody's going to go along with it. The guy that I see maybe once every six weeks, I'm going to convince him that I require a wheelchair. Oh, I just think it'd be funny if he was just con- like conning everybody. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would be good too. Yeah. Um. All right. So you, how was it drifting with a with an auto? Uh, it was okay. I don't know. Did you well, do obviously? Much, did you do much <laughs> drifting before your accident? No. no, I crashed a truck and broke my back. No, no, I know that. I, I but they don't. Oh yeah, that. maybe. Hang on, let's rewind. Yeah, let's, I was going to say you, like Yeah, that. yeah. Fuck, we're we're skipping over, and I'm sorry because I. Well, like, I mean, I, you know, I'm not trying to make it all about like, hey, it's the guy in the chair. You know what I mean? It's the guy in the chair. There's more. To, there's more to Cedric than just like the guy in the chair, you know. Absolutely. I mean, that's like a very small part of Cedric, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. I he agree. Just but happens also, to be in a chair. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, but I feel like we're doing our best to have a real yeah. experience here, and we are going to have to go over like there's yeah. probably gotta, points gotta, in Cedric's life. It's not like a trivial thing, I imagine. I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah. yeah. So. We got it. People are going to be like, yo, this guy's in a in a chair and needs an auto. How did he get there? And so how how do you wind up in in the Were in you the born in a wheelchair? In that situation? Yeah. Did you come out with it in a wheelchair? <laughs> this is the episode that gets us canceled, even though Cedric's <laughs> fine with it. I mean, you can <laughs> like, just cut, cut me out. I'll, or no, I'll, I'll I don't tone, want I'll tone it. it down. I'll just tone it down. Okay. I'm, I'm Gerard. Right. Right. No, so, Kevin, I, I think you need to be as much Kevin as you can. Yeah. Well, we all got a we all get a the show. You get a hall pass Cedric, for this one. We they we're going to yeah, show nope. how how jovial Cedric really is about this whole thing. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Back in 2011, I had a shitty S10 pickup truck that I... That's the problem the right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, go on. That was the problem. I broke my back when I flipped the truck into a ravine and couldn't walk after. Wow. That was pretty much that. So in 2011, you were how old? 18. You were 18. 18th. Had you, so graduated, two years. had you graduated high school yet? Yeah, graduated high school, done first year of carpentry, and crashed a truck. I didn't know you took carpentry. Yeah. Oh, that is yeah, cool. He, I didn't know that about you either. See, we're all learning something. That's what, that's what your dad does, right? Your dad's a, yeah. Yeah, a yeah. home builder? He is a finishing carpenter. Finishing carpentry. Oh. That's like a very highly yeah, sought after yeah. skill. Yeah. yeah. Compound miter cuts. That's all right. hard tech fun shit. Stuff. Yeah. So, hard tech. 18 year old Cedric finds himself in this predicament. Yeah. I imagine there's an adjustment period of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. I got a, a wild weeks. imagination. A couple, couple of weeks. weeks. <laughs> how did you get how did back? You, how did you, you find your way? So how did you find your way towards drifting? Oh, uh, I couldn't ride a bike anymore. So I started yeah. looking at drift cars. Oh really? So what? Yeah. What were what, yeah, what were you what into kind of before bike? your accident? What did you used to do? I used to used to ride BMX. Yeah. Couldn't ride BMX anymore. And yeah. then a lot of people were transitioning over to drift cars at the time. So I started looking at that. Found myself an Auto Skyline R32, four door. Four door. Four door one. Bought that and wrecked it. There is a video out there uh, if people are interested that actually talks about your R32 Skyline, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, okay, YouTube. and it's on YouTube. What would they search to find that video? Uh, my name, R32. So the hardest That's name to spell Cedric that we've Skabar. ever had. <laughs> yeah. Just Cedric, Cedric, okay. it's, it's Cedric and then R32. I'm so going for it right now. Time. Oh, it's literally okay. number one. CRTV, Cedric R32, yeah. All right. So you, I actually remember. Oh, that's made by Sung Woo Kim. Yeah. yeah, yeah, two hundred and forty-five thousand views, nearly a quarter million views. Mm-hmm. So Cedric is arguably the most famous person on this podcast right now. <laughs> I would say, I would say so. Yeah, nice. good job, yeah. Cedric. Uh, I did something back in two thousand and thirteen. Looking at that I car, I see like the where the styling cues come from on your <laughs> sword. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit. 
well used. A little bit, a little bit shitty. Uh, battle worn. <laughs> the the so sad thing start? is, I think the sore is worse off now than that car was. Well, you probably had it longer. Yeah. How long did you have the Skyline for? You are pretty hard on cars. Two or three years. So you two or three years. Okay. Yeah. Before we go through this, I, okay. Yeah. So Cedric spends a few weeks in recovery. Apparently, gets himself a Skyline. Don't give it much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. He's got a sabbatical. Does that? Okay. Yeah. So Cedric gets an R32. Were you competing auto. in the Olympics at Skyline time, or was that part of the uh, two weeks of recovery? After. No, after. Oh, uh, okay. You were like, yo, this Skyline. Is... Yeah. Did Skyline stuff, had fun with Skyline, wrote Skyline off, and yeah. then was like, ah, uh, by Soar, and then did Soar stuff for a bit. Then Soar was never as good as Skyline, then got into sports. Then got back into Thor because Thor is still better than sport. <laughs> what sport were you into? Uh, track and field. Like okay. the four by one hundred or like uh, the two thousand the two thousand meter. Bunch of stuff. Okay, well, we got time, and I'm interested. So tell me, what, uh, what, are, your what are the stuffs? I yeah. did. I did like it? everything from like the one hundred meter to a fifteen hundred meter. I did some javelin, shot put, and discus, and that wow. was it. Okay, yeah. well, that's that's cool. You ever do so, a decathlon? No, no. All right, I I just want to back up a bit. So we got still like a, ten years ago. Yeah, well, time time flies. Time flies. We're all yeah. We're all moving forward, never backwards. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, so Cedric gets a skyline. You got to put hand controls in it. Put hand controls in it. Yeah, you do that. That's a thing that you did that. you do. Yeah. No, I that one someone else did. Okay. Did you have yeah. to pass a test with the hand controls? I had to pass a driving test with hand controls. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You do that, and then you go off, and so. And just so I know, you when you had the pickup truck, were you at all interested in like import cars yeah. and drifting? Well, I want I wanted to drift cars. That's okay, so why I had a stupid shitty pickup truck? It had green rims, Ryan. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh god, god damn it, Cedric! <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so you had a shitty pickup truck that you wanted to drift. You loved Monster Energy drinks, and <laughs> uh, and pierogies, yeah, okay. and pierogies. Yeah, yeah. so pierogies. you. You end up, you end up in this skyline. You have it for a few years. You drift. You move a. Yeah. You get a sore. Yeah. Do you do the hand controls in your car now? Is that a thing that you? Yeah. Like, yeah. And you do a lot of the work on your cars, or most of the work. Uh, everything that's not electronic or important. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or and important. Not, so yeah, yeah. So nothing. So oh, the yeah, body work is horrible. Yeah, I do uh, that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So did you put the transmission in your new car? Uh, no, I have a shop called uh, Post Haste Performance. They do majority of all the, that work. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, actually, Daniel I knew that. at Post Haste is uh, pretty smart. And he, that's cool, you he have a shop. all my shit. Uh, yeah. Not my shop. <laughs> <laughs> He's got yeah. a shop that he hires. Yeah. yeah. The, okay. Yeah. All right. A friend shop. So Cedric drives the skyline. He starts drifting. I assume you must. I I feel like you really like drifting. I'm committed at this point. Yeah, you're. <laughs> yeah, you're fully in it. Okay. I, Until, yeah, I feel that, like Cedric's like more in it than anybody else I know. Like no, Cedric is always like like I'm gonna drive seven and a half hours down to Villains with my car, and like I'm only gonna bring a couple of sets of tires and drift for a little bit. And like he goes there, and like if I'm not going, he's probably driving there by himself, and he's still going. And like, yeah, you know, like it's a long ass way to go. And if something happens, like you got to deal with it. And like, right, yeah, you just don't have stuff happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's the, that's the way to do it. Just to... Well, it's nice that you both drive Toyotas. Uh, yeah, Kevin, I feel like to Kevin's defense, the biggest issue is always your tires. It's always a tire issue, yeah. But front yeah. tires. 
It's always the front tires. Yeah, I did yeah. figure out the the hack, which is just drive there on there and back on your drift spares on the front and the back, and then switch to the small tires at the on the track. But then you gotta have t- then you gotta have four tires that are good to drive home on. Yeah, requires uh, mass. But also that's when you're driving like ten hours, you know. So. But Cedric, your car is always good for that. Right now. Okay, so I want to get through the timeline of, of this. So Cedric hey. goes to the sore, starts doing that, but it's not as good as the Skyline. Goes not off. Good as skyline. Does yes. sports at a... It's, it's too heavy, in, not sporting enough. Yeah, it's a big, heavy car. Big, heavy car, kind of slow. But you go off, you do sports. So yeah. you do that for an extended period of time. Sports, 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 yeah. sports, sports. 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 And at what level do you compete at these sports? Canada Summer Games. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. So were you Something ever like, like yo, that. I'm number seven at fucking to, javelin or something? Uh, what was the for, highest for like, you ever were at anything? For, for a period of time, I held records for my classification in javelin and stuff. Oh, what? Wow. What's your yeah. class? Like, three yeah, juice? Yeah, like, like, it was... Uh, so they they go off of like disability, like how high your break is and stuff. So I think I was like a T fifty three or something like that. Yeah, sounds like a turbo. So, go on. Yeah, it's a yeah weird classification, but yeah, I held like a re- couple records for like maybe a year. Does it go up and, like vertebrae by vertebrae? Is there that many classifications? No, there's like pretty much like a couple different classifications like how much of a paraplegic are you or like are you a quadriplegic or can you like stand and do stuff yeah okay yeah all right so you do that and then drifting calls you back yeah i'm like yeah sports cost too much money went to like switzerland and stuff was costing a bunch of money and then i was like wow drift cars are more fun let's get back into that and you I went, went to Switzerland so, for so sports. some. I was going to say somehow yeah. drift cars are cheaper than this other sport. You went to Switzerland for sports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I went to, oh, I went to Switzerland things. for sports. I mean, all the things wild. we're learning about Cedric right? is great. And also, crazy, man. the government <laughs> isn't like helping send athletes to Switzerland for this. Uh, I had like a grant to get like the flight out of Switzerland. But then I had to pay for like the hotel and stuff. But you had to get the flight into Switzerland. So if you yeah. win, <laughs> if you win, do you win money at these events? Uh no. It would have been like if you win. Well, it would have been like if you. The reason everyone goes to Switzerland is they have one of the fastest tracks in the world. Okay. So everyone oh, goes okay. there to get time, so and then get the best time there. Pretty much. For what? And then for track and field, for track. Like two two thousand oh. meter. 100 meters like 115 to like 15 to 500 whatever okay. all the different distances but they have one of the fastest tracks and pretty much it's a huge international thing so what makes it so fast is computing uh it's a really old track that so why does that make fast? it fast yeah why does that make it fast yeah uh for track and field tracks they use like a weird uh tire compound yeah on that the, rubber the, yeah the rubber yeah well if it's like 15 years old they're like older oh it they're like really it's like hard. hard ass rubber yeah it's super uh, hard it's horrible uh, for runners yeah but for oh. wheelchair racing and stuff it becomes really fast track did they ever do like wheelchair oh. racing on like a velodrome like a wooden floor no like no <laughs> they just all bailing no. shit yeah I mean, they bail on the bikes on a velodrome for sure. I know what I was saying. Like, yeah, it'd be hard to keep your balance on a wheelchair. They, like, they still like I mean, they wheel bail basketballs on a wooden floor, right? Like, yeah, but these are different. Just yeah. so we're clear, drift cars are cheaper than what you were doing. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> there's no way, Cedric. Did you get a shot in the way. stomach? Or? Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll break it down a little bit. A, a racing wheelchair will be around like 15,000K for a basic one. A okay. set of wheels will be around like $5,000. Tires are like... Are they like carbon? Still, 
Yeah, really carbon fiber, okay. aluminum, a lot of stuff is like perfectly custom made for people. Uh, a chair will last people usually like three to five years. Every three to five years, you're spending 15K just on equipment, probably. And so then also, like, the geometry totally different from so like a set a, of wheels a and a turbo. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I said so, like, I assume the geometry of this chair is totally different from like an everyday chair, too. Yeah, it's like a way lower center of gravity. Thing. It's uh, the camber, too. Three wheels. Yeah, it has a bit of camber. It uses three nice. wheels. You have yeah, weird gloves where you like punch the wheels. Oh, really? Very All the time. Gloves. This whole time, you could yeah. have been stunting on everyone with this cool racing chair at car meets, and you're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Are they much? Is it longer? Yeah, it's super long. But yeah, I'm it's imagining like, like wow. a dragster of a of a wheelchair. Have you never seen it? No, I no, think I've seen six. one Cedric, photo of you ever once. Link it up. Yeah. I've seen one photo of you once ever. Like Kevin doesn't even know me. Kevin, I thought we were better friends. I mean. Than Dude, the photo of you in my phone isn't even you. It's somebody else who, at the time, was wearing something and it looked like you, and I thought that was funny. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you have photos of all of us in your phone? Yeah. What's my photo in your phone? Uh, I think I also recently changed it. It was the Garfield. one with... <laughs> I hope so. Um, it was up until very recently. I think it's like you... It's you like walking, drinking a beer or something. Someone, <laughs> that one, someone else took it. And now okay. it's one where you are sitting cross legged in front of my car or your car at Weckfest taking a photo of them. And I started taking a photo of you, and you looked at me and made like a really silly face. Oh, okay. My yeah. photos for Gerard and, and Kevin Gerard's are just photo? their cars. Uh, yeah, what is photo our cars? Okay. Gerard's photo oh. on my phone is like. When we were building Alex Lee's car at the shop. Oh shit, that's hella old. Yeah, super. Yeah. Gerard has like a top knot. What? <laughs> yeah. Samurai. Yeah, my photo is Gerard at Mission when his car is like the the back of his car when it's like touching the ground, like the Aristo. Oh, oh yeah, the Aristo. Yeah. And then sick. Kevin's is him at uh at final bout when he's like doing the the turn down the hill. The photo that he likes. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, car, that's a good Car one. photos. Car yeah, photos well, I mean, fun. they I were human, easy I to find. photos, yeah. Yeah, I should, but I don't. I did recently I, change my... Cedric's also on that trip. He, like, just put a bunch of French fries in his mouth uh, oh. when, we were, when we were at Zach's house. <laughs> nice. Nice. My favorite photo I have of Gerard, and I post it on his birthday every year, and I don't... I, I, anyway, <laughs> is... Gerard at Evergreen Speedway in front of all those trophies. trophies? Yeah. And every uh, time I post it, people are like, yo, Gerard's got so many trophies. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, okay, okay. So enough of what photos we have of each other in our phones. Um, okay, that is expensive, and you fully get called back into cars. So yeah. this whole time, did you have keep the SOAR or did you sell it or? No, that SOAR just didn't work on it. You didn't work on it. So it just sat there. Didn't work. So what uh, did you get around it. in? I was driving that and an Acura. Acura RDS. It was like an SUV thing. It was like a respectable, proper car. Wow. Proper car. There's yeah. this whole respectable version of you that I don't know anything about, which is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which is very funny. Uh, okay, so you come back. The you you sold the RDX. Sold the RDX. Yeah, well, I traded it for work on my car. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at that point, so you come back to the store. It's yeah. like mildly kind of done, but it's been left in disarray for years. I uh, assume. No, I like did like at least one event a year with it. Okay. All right. I'm still like drifting it a little bit, just not as much. The Soar, as I know it, is vinyl wrapped. Yes. It it is currently vinyl wrapped. Yep, with a painted yeah. roof. With a painted roof, and the rear is like two non-existent. Non-existent. And yeah. The front. Is, so it's like the Soar is, is like good. the front. Front. Is, okay. Good. Okay. Good. The front is so, good. So, but it's like full on like. 
almost like it, a race. Like it feels it feels race car-y, I feel like it doesn't, it, does, car. it doesn't have carpet. It doesn't yeah. have carpet. It does have carpet. We're yeah. talking about wires. Yeah, yeah, it's wire. Just a Fucking carpet wires. of wiring. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a wire carpet. So you got this car. It's an auto. I probably around this time is when I met. Like I don't when I don't even know when you we met, but you're around. You got a sore. Yeah. It's auto. So you're driving that. What prompts you to be like, yo, this thing needs a BMW transmission in it? Easy. Uh, Gerard, I think I might have sent him a video. Yeah. Gerard, I think <laughs> Gerard was the one. He was like, "Oh, have you seen the DCTs?" And I was like, "Oh, that would be cool." But and I think there's, I there's, the, into it. there's more. To do, you know, there's more to it than that. I feel. You know. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like it's it's like a fully built motor. It is. It is now. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's had. Uh, well, I mean, once you say yeah, like drifting an auto, you definitely needed to have it set up kind of wild like before you had like a high stall converter and like yeah uh, a, was it a built auto or like at least like a no it was just a it was the whatever the risto auto they have a bit mm, stronger a340 year gear. whatever and then it had a super high stall converter i think it was like a 4500 stall converter and then explain to everybody what the hell a high stall converter is it's pretty much the converter it's It'll torque just converter. spin. Yeah, it's a torque converter. It just uh, it spins and makes a bunch of heat, and it's not good. That's what <laughs> it is. But I mean, well, okay, so like regular auto. Just drives, you explain it. <laughs> no, I want him to explain it because he uh, he's explaining uh, it from a driving driving fucking point of view. It that was a driving point of view. It makes a yeah. bunch of heat, and it's really not that good. <laughs> Yeah, it's really not that good. <laughs> Gerard, this is kind of what you're here for. Now explain what Cedric's trying to say, and then we'll go from there. What is it? What, how, does uh, it okay. how is it different from a normal torque converter? What is a normal torque converter? What is a torque converter? Okay, one sec. So let me just see. What does a high stall converter do? You can just read it I off mean, the internet, buddy. Okay, Come on. Yeah, well, it's actually okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, 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 out now. <laughs> no, okay. So basically, a regular transmission, like a regular auto, like you press the gas, the thing moves. It moves at like whatever, 1500 RPM or 1000 RPM. It starts moving, right? So a high stall basically means like it takes more for it to move, like a higher RPM for it to start mm. moving. So it's sort of basically in the power bad. Like normally you would do a high stall in a car, like, you know, muscle cars, some shit that had like a bigger cam than stock because it doesn't make any torque, you know, from like 1000 to 3000 RPM, let's just say. So like if you had a regular converter, it drive, it'd be so fucking slow because sort of nothing's happening. Kind of like, I guess you've never, yeah. So if you have a big turbo auto car, it's it sort of really sucks moving off a light until the turbo spools. There's fuck all right. happening, right? You put a high stall converter in it. It'll basically let the engine sort of rev up until it like let's call it engages the transmission. So, mm. so sort of do like a auto Supra guys do that? Is that like a mod that an auto yes. like? Okay. Yeah. And I mean, here's like, another. It feels like all drag cars have that. Yeah, drag yeah. cars oh, are yeah, high yeah, stall yeah. for sure. I just want to, okay. And then if a guy had an ISF, he wouldn't do that. He would be like, no, that's fine. No, because uh, more probably more. not because it's sort of set up already out of the factory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Now we know the more you know, Cedric. So you had that in there. You're fucking, you're yeah. living your best life. How much horsepower did this order make? Uh, at what time? Uh, well, after you put, after you put this motor together, because you had like a motor issue. Uh, it, was consistently making around like 450 horsepower at the wheels and mm -hmm. then i mean through the auto that's like very healthy no yeah that was pretty good through the auto and everything and then my uh harmonic balancer walked on the crank and destroyed my crank and we decided to rebuild the motor was that an oh yeah i'm a harmonic balancer yep so Devin yeah. doesn't believe in those. I I believe is the thing. Yeah, uh, they're, I mean they're no good. I, that's the first I've ever heard of like a catastrophic engine wipeout from a harmonic. Yeah, harmonic Yeah, because yeah. I've seen two or three of them fail in like in front of me, 
and it just like sheared the two pulleys and you yeah. go home, put another pulley on and like literally it was a 10 day yeah. fix sort of thing. <clears throat> but my, my UCF 11 did that. The harmonic balancer like came off and, but yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Uh, really? on, a, on a UCF. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is. Is it it's two piece on the one U I guess as well, but I don't know. I don't know. It's like the rubber. Yeah, it was like, and I was like, I'll just slide it back. And I was like, nope, that's not working. But it was really <laughs> hot. And then it like melted into the, you know, like the plastic, oh, the plastic under the car. Yeah. Like it like hit that and like melted in. I, anyway, this isn't about me. It's about Cedric. <laughs> so Cedric, you got a 450 horsepower store. Kind of shit's yeah. bad. You have to rebuild everything. Now, rebuild everything. today. So today, if I were to come look at your store, it makes how much horsepower? About the same, like 450. I think it's like top number with 487 or something. Okay. So you're but making now, like the same power, but just much more lively now? Uh, now it just has built internals. Oh, all right. And a so you different, just put like a stock, stock crank back in? So less crank, reliable than stock is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Well, stock crank and then like forged pistons and rods. You don't make power off of forged pistons and rods. You got a, uh, you got head studs. I probably have head studs. I think I have head studs. Yeah, yeah. I love it, this. Already had, it already had cams in it. Oh, you got cams, okay. eh? Yeah, it has big cams. Hey, what yeah. are you getting for fuel economy? No, I'm, I don't care. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's getting better so, fuel economy than your car. Which one? Probably Prius? not than the Prius. Yeah. Eighty-five now, cheaper gas. E85. All right. Race yeah, fuel. Cedric, Cedric's a huge, huge proponent of the ethanol. I do believe in the villains video there, Cedric. You have you're getting gas from a special gas station. Yeah. 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 Airplane gas, gas station. station. Got a card lock. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, aviation card lock. <laughs> that's nice. Good stuff, Cedric. <laughs> you can okay. find all about it when you come to villains. Is that. We, well, this is, feels like a separate conversation if I'm going to villains or not, but uh, we can talk it's about it. Me. Maybe it's not, right, not right now. Okay, here we are. Cedric's got a sore. It's got some internals on it. He watches a video from Gerard, and as all of us do, we question our life choices when Gerard sends a video. <laughs> not me. I really dig my heels in for some reason. Anyway, no, it was more but, like he was having transmission temperature issues consistently yeah. in addition to being like, before, hey, that's before the video <clears throat> and okay probably got like three or four auto trans and kind of just was like ah let's do something different all right mm -hmm. so what does it entail to put the transmission that's in the car right now in the car what are we looking at what's that work like so for those that don't know, it's a DCT trans, which means dual clutch transmission. They came in, uh, yeah, they came in BMWs. Um, I think it's the I, uh, what the hell is it? 330 IS or 335 IS and then the M3s and then a bunch of like the M5s, I guess, uh, also, or the 5 Series. Some of the 5 Series had DCTs. But yeah, anyways, it's a 7 the one particularly Cedric had is a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Uh, yeah. Why you want it, it shifts super, super fast. There's seven gears. So like, you know, you could be in the power band at all times and basically you just go up and down through basically like a sequential. Um, so let's say you wanted to be shifting mid drift, second, third, fourth, no problem. Like you don't have to push the clutch in. You don't have to do any of that shit. You just, uh, bah, 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 and then it's up and then also you can have a virtual clutch uh you know if you go further with the software and, and a bunch of other stuff you can tune it to do all sorts of stuff the way it shifts and also add a virtual clutch so you can clutch kick the dct which is basically an auto but better um so it is like basically a fully automated manual <laughs> transmission huh all right now cedric yeah. you say all that no i'm joking uh <laughs> yeah 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 so it's it's what Gerard said, but it has a lot more problems. But it's BMW. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so just, uh, look, I'm I'm just a dummy. So how does a BMW transmission get attached to a Toyota engine? 
uh, a lot of hammer work. Okay, yeah. go on. Yeah. yeah. It, well, that's how really you get it. Grand. That's how you get it to fit inside the tunnel. But like, how do you yeah. attach uh, it to the well, engine? It, you find some sort of adapter plates in Europe or somewhere. What adapter kit are you running? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, with what adapter kit? Is it HGK? No, I am running. I don't know. HG. It starts with an A. A? What is it? Isn't it? It's the weird. Uh, what the heck is it called now? You confused me, and now I don't even know what it is. I swear it starts with an A. It's a European company. It is a European company. It is a European con- company. Because, yeah, you bought. did you buy this stuff through Seems a Legit Garage? No, right? No. It's not I bought PMC it. Works. It's not, Do- it's not PMC. It's not Domi Works. No. Nope. It's like a weird A. Adolat or some, sh- some it's shit. A. Adamat. Adamat Performance nope. in Poland. Nope. Was oh, it? Okay. Oh wait. I, don't is know. It? I thought it was Polish. How did you find this? I don't even understand. This seems like you a just very Google important it, man. Part. There's and and no, like, I know, but yeah, how does Cedric, Cedric not know like where he spent yeah. Like, yeah. thousands of dollars? Like what the fuck, man? <laughs> 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 it seems like such an important thing. Like to me, I don't think, again. I don't think you're using the PMC Motorsports one. I don't think you're using that one. I think you got it from <laughs> Europe, and I think it was Adamat. It's from Europe. From Seems Legit Garage sells Adamat. It wasn't from Seems Legit. I know, but you bought it from Europe, did you not? Yes. Yes. But so Adamat I, makes I, like all of the adapters. So what? Yeah, you so. bought an artisanal adapter? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't even understand why there's these, these da- adapters exist. Is like actually beyond me. Why well, does Serial 9 make wanna, the CD Pro? Yeah. Why do we make that the CD makes Pro? sense to me? What no, but that makes the same total exact sense. thing. Is it? Yes. Yes. How is it? Well, you have the most. Listen, okay, listen. You okay, have the okay. most advanced transmission in the world, and then you want to put it onto the most commonly modified big horsepower engine in the world. Okay, so well, that makes sense. Of, yeah. I like when Gerard just explains things and Kevin stops. Like I'm a five year old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the reason the reason it shifts so fast, this is what's really cool about the DCT. The reason it shifts so fast is because it's actually in two gears at once. It has two complete sort of like, you know, like clusters of gears. And all it has to do to shift from one gear to the next one, because let's say on a manual transmission, you go from first to second, it's got a synchro and get the fuck off my keyboard. It's got a synchro and it has to shift <laughs> from one and has to accelerate the second gear. So it has to go from one gear to the second gear. It has to use a, a synchronizer to speed up the second gear. And like, yeah, you can shift it fairly fast. Let's say you get a dog box and you, you can shift it as fast as that. But in the DCT, let's say you're going from first to second or third to fourth, it'll already pre-select the third gear when you're in second because it knows you're going third. So all it what has if I'm to going do, back to one. <laughs> well, then you'd have to know. So that reason is called dual clutch is so all it has to do is release clutch A on second gear and engage clutch B on third gear. And, you know, basically they just do it simultaneously. So the shift speed is something like, uh, I don't even know how many milliseconds, but it's short as fuck. It's, it's basically How many milliseconds like, is it, Cedric? I yeah. figured out the company I ordered my stuff from. It was HPR. Oh, that's HPR. a fun name. Yeah, HPR Tuning. They, How did you decide on the company? Uh, they were the only ones that, that sold this adapter. Oh, what? You didn't yeah. buy it that long ago. What do you mean? From there's, Jay-Z? There's, there were, but it's only for many one. adapters. That... For Jay-Z to the BMW M3 one, there's no other companies that make it. That oh, one. because you have the... Which one is M3, it? The, the M3 whatever trans. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you buy that Except, fucking trans? Because it was the one that was local and I could find for cheap. And cheap, yeah. And and it's the cheap. strongest, isn't it? Well, it's no, supported V8. So. I don't know. All it's right. supported V8. I mean, those things only make 400 horsepower, so... Well, he only makes 450. He'll be fine. Hey, yeah, I feel like right now is a good time to you know what? today's episode. <laughs> I was going to do a spot. I was going to be like, hey, yeah, today's a good time. By. The CD Pro, Jay-Z to CD mm-hmm. adapter kit. 
Look at this guy. Man. He's just... Hey, isn't that nice? I've always understood why that exists. So when Kevin said, like, why do you think we do it? I always understood because it was like an affordable way to put a readily available trans, like manual transmission on a yeah. JZ. That could be easy I, right now, listener. You could be rowing could be. six speeds. Yeah. Six speeds. <laughs> six speeds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've always understood that because it was like to have a manual transmission. I, again, don't live in current times when it comes to car culture. So the idea of wanting the. An auto, basically. The, yeah. It's like, oh, I wouldn't want to do that. But when you say it, not everyone wants to just do what we do, I guess. So it makes sense. So and it helps. Right right so the whole, the other thing. Talk sorry, to you. you drive drive yeah, you to Seattle, you Cedric. He says, what do I do? And I said, drive you to Seattle, Cedric. <laughs> it would be much bumpier than an auto. Yeah, <laughs> so. At least in an AC. So the whole, the whole thing yeah. with today's technology is so the DCT as good as, it, as good as it is, isn't even the best one, quote unquote. So now they have a thing yep. called the 8HP, which is an eight speed automatic that literally comes in like everything from like, like a Hellcat to a fucking Mercedes to a BMW to, it's literally the most popular automatic transmission like ever. Uh, mm-hmm. And somehow they've, they've, modified the shit out of this thing so it actually shifts almost as fast as a dct but it's just like maybe a bit smoother and then it has eight gears instead of seven so imagine if you wanted to shift your you can't clutch kick it no you You can can clutch kick it it. yeah absolutely absolutely yeah so yeah imagine you wanted a drift car so now you can clutch kick your drift car you can put it in D for done and not fucking have to shift, or you can sequentially shift it if you wanted to. You could put the stick in there and pretend you have like a sequential gearbox. And it's just like kind of just super dope. But it's today's technology, but it's just it's pretty expensive. The 8 HP trannies are not that expensive, but the whole conversion is definitely pretty expensive. Mm. All right. So So basically Cedric, you, you screwed up, Cedric. I did. I did. Every other people told me to do the ADHP when I was doing the DCT. I was like, <laughs> right. Oh, I'm gonna do the DCT because I think it's cool. And but yeah, the DCT is that. sick. But also, it like once sick. you have it dialed, you could probably just sell that setup for like a pretty pretty decent amount. Everyone's already sure. selling them. People have been selling them for a long time. Everyone oh, the DCTs the to replace with ADHPs. Yeah, pretty much. Shit. When you look on the forum, everyone's selling the the dct because they can't the, figure it so out. one of the advantages of the because they can't figure it out yeah is that is that complicated with like the software side that people just give up majority of the time and say fuck it all right hang on has anyone ever well, that's not this? inspiring yeah of course <laughs> go to drifthq uh yeah. com and um duarte's uh e90 drift car the green one is uh i think it's like a 700 DCT. horsepower uh jay-z with a dct on it and it's sick the videos are dope he'll be he'll be drifting yep. and just banging off gears it'd be like fourth fifth sixth uh there's a there's a ton of videos you can get with dcts and you can see with dcts and jay-z's on them the, the, the thing is yeah you need the guy you need the software and yeah the so you need pretty much the htg ECU for the DCT and the guy that created it is pretty much like the only guy that's been successful Bartek. at Bartek who is the only one that's successful at tuning it because he created it so yeah it's it's an endeavor where are you at in this process how far are you away from having this work I am currently using BMW software still because it's running off of my ECU, which is a max ECU, which then... Can you just flash it, to... though? Uh, I know on the... No. Because it's not, not a BMW ECU anymore, like running... Uh, the... No, Run... because the DCT just has so many codes within it that there are things that you cannot override within the BMW software. Oh, that's crazy. Because I know on the 6 yeah. HPs, we can flash them so that they won't shift and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I've... 
I've now talked to a couple of companies and they've pretty much gone through the software and they said that there is stuff that is hard coded within the trans that they cannot erase. And unless you do an HTG. So is that why the HTG has the HTG. to like solder that board or whatever? Yeah, like it's you pretty much take out, yeah, you pretty much take out all the BMW stuff and you put in the HTG stuff. And is that what you're going to do? Uh, probably, probably within so, the next year or so. So how Wait, much are you into it for now? So? No, no, no. But, year, like, year, that, year. but like, okay, like, like, go back for a sec and like basically yeah. the only thing you're not able to do is drift like could you drag race can yeah. you road race can you rip it on the street yeah. can you do a fucking cooker yeah. could you do a huge brake stand i don't yes. know how it would like the huge brake stand i think it would want to upshift on the brake stand it does not well, that's like good the- then you get more wheel speed and you're just doing an even bigger brake stand yeah <laughs> possibly I haven't, I haven't fully tried yeah all of a sudden you're in seventh like, yeah pretty much okay so your next move to make this thing do what so it yeah, needs basically, to do basically if you didn't want to be a drift boy if yeah. this was like a streetcar build or something like it would be pretty dialed yeah it, it'd be fine you could street drive it and stuff and it'd probably feel okay the auto mode isn't the best because it's still off of the bmw software which thinks it's has a different diff ratio and uh, V8 in it, but other than that, yeah, in manual mode, it's pretty good. One That's of the problems, good. one of the main problems that's currently happening is it won't hold the gear that he selects. It'll always yeah. upshift. Yeah. So basically, you're saying, hey, I want to drift in second, and then by the time you hit red line, it's grabbed third, which fourth. is probably yeah. not what you want. <laughs> third or yeah. fourth or whatever the fucking gear. Because it goes, it it grabs two like instantly. It seems like. Yeah, sometimes it'll throw itself in neutral, even. Like, there's so many weird things that they do. We've gone a long time without saying this. I'm going to say it now, because now I'm uh, genuinely interested. So what does Chair Slayer from Hoonigan do? Chair Slayer, Rob Parsons, he he had a manual trans that he outfitted in his car with a air shifter and an electronic clutch for a while. And then oh, I think okay. he changed up his setup a couple different times, but I believe he was building a DCT car. Don't know okay. what's going on now. Who knows? Wow. But yeah, his uh, his 240 has a T56. T56 with air shifter or something. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And that's yeah, never it's a pretty been advanced. Around. It's a pretty advanced setup. He has nothing. I don't know how many he's yeah. sold, but it's like. It's some high end shit. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because he engineered def- the whole. Yeah. He's like, definitely like a. Yeah. Like the whole articulating clutch dude. setup. And that's not for Cedric. Cedric's not about that. No, because I street drive my car and uh, you could not street drive his setup. There was something with the clutches not working for street driving. Oh. Uh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Because I think you probably just don't have a lot of engagement modulation maybe yeah. and then so it wouldn't be yeah. as consistent maybe so like it's like you want to dump the clutch and go through gear sure but like maybe maybe yeah. that I don't think sort it, of finite modulation might not work so well yeah i don't think it like to hold clutch in or something there is a thing going on there mm-hmm. mm. so you got a path ahead of you right now oh you gotta, and the next year you got to do this but you are gonna still take your car and go try to drift at villains is my understanding yes yes even I mean, though it's not running properly i'm going to go anyway it doesn't matter i love the tenacity okay <laughs> great that's why you so gotta how, come right how is oh, it how is it worth it in your mind to spend the money to drive down there if it's not uh, gonna work because all i'm spending money on is gas and it's ethanol, buddy. It's cheap. It's cheap. Uh, right. Membership membership at the track, worth it, 100%. Yeah. You're really getting, you're getting a little... It's got legs. You're getting you gotta get, out of that. You gotta get your money worth. Sounds like next year you gotta get this part that I, for the life of me, cannot remember the name. H... H-K-J. 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 Yeah, home, H-K-J. home, home get gardening. H-K-J. Home is it HGT? No, is it HTG? I think it's HGT. HTG. 
It's HPV. Oh, it is HPV. Home, no, H, home, television, garden. Okay. Um, hey, question. How much is that going to run you? I have no idea. Probably like three thousand dollars or something. And what wow. was I gonna say? What I was gonna say is, I mean, is that what are you into it for? What are you into it for? No now? idea. A lot of money. You just don't don't look at your receipts, buddy. Just keep them. Uh, is it worth it? Much. I don't know if anything's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you could be in Switzerland yeah, that, right that's now. A, that's a perfect existential answer. Yeah, that is that's the type of shit that I think of all the time. Is this worth it? Is anything worth it? Why do I exist? Uh, right, yeah, well, you okay. asked me about my last car that I crashed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have. I feel like I've asked Sucks. Kevin about this once, and then Kevin explained it to me. But I'll ask Kevin, it for the audience. Kevin, why don't you tell us about the last car I crashed? No, you're here to tell us a story. So, yeah, exactly. You're here to tell the story, Cedric. You can tell from Cedric, your work, yeah. yeah, has so as long as I've known Cedric, he's had a sore. <laughs> Saw the video of Cedric in the skyline before I met him. Like I vaguely remember that that video coming out. Uh, it's funny that we know each other now, but there's a point in there, and we did gloss over this where you fully, because I think this came up where I was like. It's kind of wild that Cedric drives a coupe. Cedric drove with me down to Seattle, and there's always this thing of having to take the chair apart and put it in the back seat. So I'm like, yo, wouldn't it just make more sense for Cedric to have, like, a sedan? And Kevin was like... He can't put the chair in the back seat, close the door, and get into the front chair, though. Well, I know, but, like, (laughs) if you reach over or something... I don't know. That totally makes so much sense. Right, no, but yeah. <laughs> I am Cra- I went, crawl over to the front door. Like, what well, hold fuck? on. You could adjust the front seat. Like Cedric's a smart oh, guy. Shit. He's putting an auto. Like he's putting this fucking crazy transmission Ooh. in his car. He could figure it out. Oh, so you're just saying space. simply because it has more space in the back? Yeah. Also, I uh, remember okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, telling yeah. me yeah. like he was. Go- I remember a, a friend of mine was once going to buy an RX7 but then bought a sedan because he's like, yo, this can totally oh, hold Gerard. so much more. Yeah, that that's guy. Gerard. Yeah. yeah, you know him. So, so, And then I asked this to Kevin, and Kevin was like, fun story. Cedric <laughs> did have a sedan after yeah. the Skyline. And that, what was that, Cedric? Run us through it. That was uh, Mark II. Mark II, Jay's That was an after the Skyline. That was after, he had that. That was the after the Thor. Yeah, that was like during the oh, okay yeah. congruent with the sore. Yeah, after the sore, yeah. but then still before the sore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, was, that was after the sore. Before it was a very short-lived car. Yeah, yeah, run us through that. So what happened? Um, it's, what did you have? I had a I don't know a Mark II sore. It was a cool car, and I decided a Mark II sore. You <laughs> no no a, you did not. It was a, there's a Jason X 10, 110 Mark II. Yeah. And the Mark II Sawyer, but yeah. <laughs> so I was like, what is he talking about? What car? Yeah, what the fuck is Cedric on about? I so like that, that we could have almost had so this a 1JZ VBTI. Yeah. It's a 1JZ good car, VBTI was. car. Yeah. 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 Okay, I got a, I've got heard a good of this. deal. This is pre COVID. The car was probably like $5,000. And it was pretty cheap. Yeah, it was, it was not the most expensive car. It was a good daily. And then yeah, we're like, oh, this is auto. sick. Like, Cedric, this is a great car. You're going to switch from your Sora to this eventually. It's going to be so cool. We're going to drift with Serial 9 because you got Sedan. And yeah. then you put coilovers in it. And I think you welded the diff, of course. Yep. Weld the diff. Which is a great idea on a daily. Yeah. And I mean, then... ask Kevin. Kevin, are your dailies welded diffs? Uh, I do have a daily with a welded diff. Yes, I'm. Okay. Fa- I'm phasing it out though. If you say so, Kevin. If you say so, it's on its way out. And this is a story that I heard. So you had this really cool car. So it's an auto, one J, and you can tell the story. I don't need to. I'm the, have the least. No, you tell it. Jesus Christ! I want, I want to hear Ryan's version. 
my understanding, as it was told, was you lowered it, you did all the things, and it needed a wheel alignment. And Kevin said, don't do anything stupid in the car until you get a wheel alignment. And you're like, absolutely. I will not do anything stupid. And then they got a call saying you like put it into the ditch or into something. Or but he other. was stuck in the down ditch. Stuck in the car yeah, in the down I, ditch. I drove it off a cliff. Yeah. Jesus, man. <laughs> I think I'm going to say that. And why, well, how did you do Were you drifting it on the street? It might have went sideways. So, yeah, yeah the, the, thing, thing. The, the thing is, is like he, Senator calls me and it's it's April Fool's Day. Yeah. And he's like, hey, hey, uh, I crashed my car street drifting. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I went down the side of a cliff like this is the I remember like, that. And too. I'm just like, yeah, haha, ha, buddy. Like, yeah. We're... Uh, so I just like hung up on him. <laughs> we were all laughing. We're like, yeah. fuck you, Cedric. Yeah, and then he calls back and he's just like, ah. and I'm like, all right, well then like where did you do this? Like, where is this? Didn't clip? we make him FaceTime us or something? Oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. So then he sent me I sent photos. you videos. He sent yeah. me two yes. photos. Like, this is the tree, and this is me looking out the window. And I was like, Holy fuck, he did. Yeah, we're like, let's like, go get this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you totaled uh, the car? I totaled the car. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> the thing that I think that I I appreciate that I've learned about you that I appreciate and it's going to sound weird about you now is just the sheer tenacity you have to never like like it's okay. So eighteen year old Cedric is in an accident on the streets. You know, life changes presumably. You know, he's got to take a month to recover. And then, he get, and then like, you're out there just being like, I'm going to do this shit again. Like, what's the worst thing that could happen then, now? Yo, 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 go, first, yeah, of yeah. All, first of all, what were the hand controls in that car? What, what do you mean? Oh, no, those were well, good ones. Oh, they were good ones? Okay, because I know that yeah, you that was some, some, like, not-so-good ones. The Civic had the not-so-good ones. <laughs> those ones fell off and I crashed. <laughs> Jesus! So I love like yeah, it's either like sheer tenacity or not like fully learning. Or sheer but whatever, yeah, like whatever it is, is like good for you for not giving being, up. yeah, for not giving up or like swaying away from like the things that you care about or clearly what makes you you. Like yeah, you know this car doesn't have an alignment. No big. I got to see what it can do. You know. Good for you, Cedric. I that's my takeaway from this whole thing right now <laughs> is Cedric does what Cedric's gonna do and it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Pretty much. So how do, how do your parents feel about that? Probably not the best. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate. You ever have to have any hard conversations with your parents about I mean, it? So uh, are any of us I, other, any other way with our parents though? Yeah. What what do you want to do automotively in the future? If, if I don't know, if, if you could just do anything you want to do, what would you do? I I don't know. You have no dreams or aspirations. I, Finish I have DCT. I have no idea. I want no. I want to drive a car that works. I want a Skyline again. Mm, there you really? Go. Yeah, it was a good car. Tell me more. It was a Nissan. It was lovely. It worked. You know what you should buy what? instead of a Skyline? Because a it's already no. auto. And it has, no, and it has an RB in it. You just buy a Laurel. 35. They're ugly. Come on. Come on. Not my jam. I think you, were, I, to what's, you wanted to buy like a Cedric for a while. That I mean, makes sense, a, though. That's branding. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of like, I want a Cedric just for the fact that it's a Cedric. Yeah. Well, like, that, it was hold that thought. Because you can get a Cedric with a VQ30 DET. Yeah. So those are great engines. They sound are fucking they? cool. Wait. Oh yeah. I think I think we've had a conversation, and you told me the that engine is horrible, <laughs> and it's no, 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 no. Ever. That's the VG30. The VQ30 DET is great. That's the newest one. No, they're like no, the they. They're even old, like even a uh, like a thirty thirty three, uh, uh, Y thirty three is a uh, is a VQ thirty DET. The thirty two, uh, the Y thirty twos are like the cool ones, aren't they? 
Uh, I mean, they're all fucking cool, to be honest. But the 33 is like a pretty obtainable, cheap, cool one. And you yeah, can get the Grand Turismo with better. the four lights. 32s yeah, look better? No, 33 well, looks better. I mean, I like the 34, but I mean, the thir- and the 34 is oh. came here. Yeah, oh, my 33, no Cedric, Gran Turismo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's so you cool. can get that with a VQ30 DET, and then you just, they have a little adapter plate you make, and you put like a big turbo on it. Because it's a D-stroke 35, and it's got big-ass rods. And I think those things can probably do, I think, uh, maybe around 500 horse on the stock bottom end. Like, no problem. Mm. But you would have to get a standalone to run it. There you go. Next car. There you go. Drive there you go. For me. You, know, you know what you should nice. get? Dude, you know what? You should totally be driving. A wagon. BMW. No, an Infiniti. A scooter. You should talk about your M. scooter. And, oh, my God. No. <laughs> no, because the scooter fits into what I have already said about, oh like, making God. wild choices. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if, if, we, if, this was a, if this was a video <laughs> podcast or whatever, you yeah. should have the video of Cedric with that fucking scooter. Welding repeatedly the fucking third wheel or whatever the over hell that over was. again into every oh different God. possible. Never <laughs> measured one thing. <laughs> it, it worked. Fair we made it work. Ish. <laughs> I worked for a year. Isn't it, isn't it if you lean one way though, it tips over, or did you fix that? Yes. Well, I mean, it's a scooter. It's well, you don't wait, wait, wait. Normally, if you did, lean both ways, you, it tips did over. Did you crash on it? No. no. Never. <laughs> <laughs> never I crashed you it. made it home on that thing I I never crashed i think he drove into neil's truck wheel one time though with the third wheel <laughs> that was like the trailer the first time that was the first time when we were like first testing it yeah i mean you know there's gotta and be I was a like, learning oh, no. curve. yeah but we also broke the third wheel off when that happened what do you what do you mean we but okay. and then and then, and then <laughs> what happened? Happened? how did you <laughs> happen? you were there and kevin then you tried <laughs> kevin to this project <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's driving the fucking we got involved. Mean, mean. <laughs> just the uh, sketchiest thing what do you mean we well you were there you saw me do it <laughs> god damn it Cedric did you wipe out yeah, after we... you broke the third wheel off no Kevin caught me <laughs> oh time after time so that is caught. definitely a wee thing <laughs> that's a wee thing for sure be there waiting <laughs> Oh, what I was going to say, Cedric, Cedric, Infinity yeah. M45. What year? Uh, 2005, 2004. Oh. Robbie Nishida drifts one in Japan. It's a V8, VK45, automatic, it fucking straight out of the box, shreds. Is this not the same thing that Travis had? And then he sold no. it to... Uh, no, 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 no. Travis is, Travis is a SEMA. And what's this? Is this not a SEMA? M45. M45. I'm, Infinity M45. I'm going to say this. The M45, the 2006, is a good looking car. Yeah. They're crazy looking. The 2005, I don't think, is as is, is not as nice. Not for me. The 2006 is a good looking car, Cedric. Fuck. It, it's, it's not a Cedric. Yeah, we know that. That's why we said there's only one car that's. That, yo, there's, there's literally. Car that's there's literally one. I'm gonna buy this fucking car tomorrow. I'm legit All gonna right, buy this relax. fucking car tomorrow. It's a, how much is it's it? A, it's already a drift car. Where? It's it's a 2006 M45 with a fucking hydro handbrake and like a steering wheel, and it says this car I, has been rear-ended, minor front damage. Other than that, completely. Oh, send a link. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, you're not buying it. You can tandem that with your G35. But I mean, this car is done. It's forty five hundred bucks for the whole car. This M forty five is a V eight. Mm-hmm. This is the same, okay. So this is the same engine in my truck that I love so you're, much, but it's the smaller version. Ryan's interest. It's I don't want it because yeah, you do. No, Kevin's already done the thing that I care about, so I'm very happy uh-huh. about that. But I do think that like. I think Cedric should buy this fucking car. Yeah, that's what I actually think. Instead of buying a fucking DCT bullshit, just buy this fucking car and go drifting. This is all the car you need right now. And it's a Nissan. And it's a Nissan. Can it street drive? Yes. Yes. 
I mean, it's, I would it's, think it's, you could. I think you could give that car to Cam too, and he could probably yeah, pull that whole quarter. You know, hundred percent. That's fucking nothing. Oh wow! By right, tail light. Well, you know what? And, and then you could have a nice, money. a nice reliable daily. So what do you? What do you? Uh, after you had the RDX, what do you have for daily? Uh, I had the JZX one ten. I had the Soar. The Soar is an amazing daily. Best car in the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had a Civic. I, thought, I mean, except, that. except it's Whoa. not as good as the Skyline. Whoa, no, Sky, Skyline's pretty good. But yeah, the, you crashing the Civic wasn't the end of the Civic. No. Kept going with the Civic. It was just a minor fender bender. <laughs> minor fender bender. Now we got a cool Corolla. So I want to be like Kevin and have a Corolla. Oh, so you got an AE101 Corolla? I got a... A something. <laughs> I think it's a E60 or E E30. Is it an E30 chassis or something? What is it, Kevin? I think I don't know. I don't know what that technically was. Is that like a TE? Might be a TE. Don't know. TE a TE72. TE30, I think. I mean, I think that's like that's super old. Is that's not not like a Mango or even older? I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, why, it's your it's, car, it's, man. You tell me. What year uh, Corolla is it? Just tell me the year. It's an 83 Toyota. It's an E70 Corolla. That's what it is. It's an yeah, T- 83 70. Corolla liftback. Liftback. Why'd you get this? Liftback. Why? You got, you got a pretty good deal, and it's it was pre- cheap. In, good, in good shape. Kevin, I was asking Cedric. Oh, sorry. Well, Kevin said... <laughs> 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 nice. Did you get it so you could go on the the touring days? N- no, I got it just because it was cheap and it was a Corolla okay. and it was rear wheel drive. Right. But I mean, the touring right. days would be cool. Yeah, you can go touring now. Eight six day would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Except it's not an eight six. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but you can't. You can't come play here. You can't. You people, can't sit with, with them. People without. No, they wouldn't go there. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but you'll just yeah, get, do. you don't want you don't want that. I want that. It's eight. It's eight sixes, and then what is it? The ZN whatever. ZN? Yeah, GT six. Yeah. yeah, FRS. And then Dave Vickers will shout at you on the internet. Um, <laughs> That's okay. I yeah, Cedric, you get this M. <laughs> you get this M forty five. I like that. No money. You. It's because you keep buying old cars. And wild transmissions. Oh, why don't you Fuck. tell everybody how much you spent on that fucking fifteen hundred dollars Civic to make it have ten more horsepower? Uh, too much money. <laughs> tell me the exact number, Cedric. I can't tell you numbers. <laughs> Give no. me a realm of numbers. There's numbers that make up a more more numbers. Are you starts with a why? three and has a five in it, and it's a four digit number. Well, the problem is like no. he had an engine problem, and then he decided I'm gonna swap in a different I'm... Honda motor, which you know, oh yeah, okay. which you're you never put... gonna get your money back on that. No, you put Kevin's new K K series yeah. engine in there. That yeah, I was gonna it. say uh, note on this M45, it's being towed with a QX56. Yeah, it's kind of sick. Sorry, it sounds like you should buy guy. this car. Uh, yeah, it yeah. sounds like that's you. This guy's it a, does feel. I mean, to be fair, though, Gerard's got a lot of things on the go. Yeah, guys. I don't need Please this don't. car at all. I'm just saying, the quickest, the quickest point from A to B for me to go drifting would be to buy this fucking car and just drift it as it is. You'd complain too much about the car. You'd say it doesn't have enough power. It doesn't have a clutch. No, no. You it's, don't like how it drives. Doesn't have a good enough angle. I yeah, don't care. Not enough angle. Drives. I don't. Care. I don't. I don't believe that. I mean, I believe hey, that. Uh, it'll be like that for I, a little bit, like because that's the thing. If you haven't driven in a long time, you just want to drive, and then after you've yeah. driven for a bit, you're just like, all right, well, you know, actually, you know, the hydraulic e brake would make Gerard mad. I don't know why. why. I mean, it's, 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 it's just not like because it's just like you didn't design it. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Like it's something about it. It's like it's, it's not yours. Direction. The thing about this car is, I know that I know that it shreds. Like I, I talked to Robbie Nishida about his car, and he's like, "Yeah, man. Like all I did was take the interior out 
and weld the diff. That's literally all he's done. And it, wow. and I've fucking the videos are like, it's obviously not like the most insane car, but like bang for your buck. Like you just go like it's basically a G35 with an extra hundred horsepower. And it's it nicer than sick. a G35 though. Like that's kind oh, of yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it has all this gobbledygook interior shit, which like kind of just fucking who cares you know what i mean yeah but you yeah. kind of get I mean, the luxury of it like he's trying to sell this for 65 and he's lowered it to 45 so guaranteed you can get this thing for less than 4k which is yeah. fucking nuts for like a legit car that can because no one wants that thing you know what i mean it's like yeah, nobody it takes, wants it, takes yeah. a, it takes like you or me to buy that car yeah yeah it needs someone yeah. with like like the fact that that car even has a hydraulic e-brake in it and like but I mean, that kind of tells you the story, right? It's like somebody's like, I got yeah. an idea, but they didn't really probably know how to drive it. And then they <laughs> fucked her. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it seems honestly, like they had half do, the equation. Yeah. What you should do with this car is, yeah, just buy it and just go drifting. This should be a practice car. Like, this is 100% like a missile car. But you already have a G35. Yeah, but I have to do work to it. And like honestly, I've been talking to Neil about selling that entire setup. Oh, really? Yeah, which would be pretty that. funny. Yeah. Yeah, because I could use and the money from that. that car for sure. To get this. Pull that rear quarter, do whatever you want. I mean, it'd probably be kind of hard to find parts for an M forty five though, wouldn't it? No, the rear suspension is the same as G thirty five, hundred percent. We make oh, all shit. the parts for this the car front? already. The front oh, is a okay. strut, actually, who's pretty sick. Oh, that's kind of dope, yeah. Yeah, it's actually really sick. Oh, actually, the M45 might not be a strut. Whatever yeah. it is, I love that. I love that for you. Yeah. I think you should, think you should buy it. Well, so, Cedric, can... because you're here, and this was the point <clears throat> of the episode. So you love the Soar so much. Is that like your forever yeah. car, do you feel? Or do you have I, I, aspirations for another car? I think it is a forever car. Yeah, I don't know if it's the forever car, but it is a forever car. What other cars do you have on your list that you'd want to own? And keeping with the theme of the episode, are there ever like mm -hmm. concessions that you have to make for a car that you want to own? What do you mean? Like, like you can't, you, have, you know, like you're not, you're not able to get the car you actually want, so you ha you just have to get this car or something. Uh, yeah, or because like so you, you said right there, you're like, yo, every car, like basically, like for you, needs. To be a right-hand drive, like, yeah. The, you know your Cor your drive. Corolla. Your Corolla isn't. No, but it's the cheapest way to get a Corolla. Right. Yeah, that Corolla and right-hand drive would be astronomically expensive. Yeah. <laughs> for no, expensive. for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Cedric, when you say you want to, all your cars should be right-hand drive. That's not just yeah. for like the reason that I say all my cars should be right-hand drive because I'm being pretentious. Mm. No, it just works better. Everything works better. Which, when you said it, I scoffed. I was like, oh, you pretentious motherfucker. And then I was like, oh, no, wait. It probably makes way more sense for Cedric. Yeah, um, it does. I guess when you look at a project or a car, do you think, like, all of the barriers that you're going to have to deal with? And does that affect your yes. view on the car? Or, or do you just be like, I'll make it work? I want a MR2 or MRS. But that is the most unpractical car for me ever. Right. So, would you ever own one? Or would you like? Some... Yes. I would buy okay. one probably tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> right. So, why haven't you bought that? I have no money. Oh, okay. What is it about the MR2 or MRS that you want? It's small. That's what? Oh, it's rear, rear, rear wheel drive, rear engine. Yeah, mid engine. Yeah. Again. Coming back to it, it's like the idea that either <laughs> it's just sheer like ignorance is bliss type, you're gonna do what you're gonna do, or like the tenacity to be like, you know what? I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do and nothing else matters, which yeah, whatever. As long as you're happy with it, I think that's great. It's one way to Ryan, live. Ryan, we're all living in a simulation. You're yeah. a big man of my imagination. Might as well just do whatever you want anyway. How do I know you're not an NPC then? <laughs> exactly. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Wouldn't, wouldn't that just make it like all that much better? And make it a little bit more believable, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just over here. I'm just over here living my best life doing things that you don't do. 
Yeah, you're doing things that I don't do, but you are repeatedly doing them over and over again, which is the best part. <clears throat> Groundhog Day. Yeah. You're living Groundhog Day doing the same things. Like, if you were a listener listening to this, and I get it, like, it's kind of tricky. I, have a listener. We've all... I do listen to this. I appreciate that. Thanks, Cedric. Hey, do you have any questions you ever want to ask us, but you never ask? Uh... I think I asked the questions. What was it? I don't know. I always ask you questions. How do I take better photos, Ryan? Can you teach me more about photography? Well, yeah, you have to take photos and send it to me. So for me to critique them, we've been over this. Yeah. You got to stop trying to guess what my shutter speed is when I'm shooting photos at the car. You asked me to guess and I... No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Not initially, you said that shutter speed is too slow. And then I said, oh, really? Is it? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, and then I was like, photos turn out. I mean, I posted some of them and they were okay. The ones that you took in the building at that time? Yeah. With that shutter speed? Also, yeah. With also, that I was a, the only issue is the photo of you didn't turn out because you were all fucking jibby jabbering, moving around too much. You know, just stay <laughs> still, Cedric. That's what I do. Yeah. yeah. And then we would have been fine. I got photos of cars and they worked. <laughs> if you say so. I posted them up. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. Well, yeah I don't know why so. I'm trying. Fucking whatever. I'm not having this conversation with you. I'll release the footage you took, all the highway footage you shot, and then we'll see. <laughs> Those look pretty. Blame it on your shaky camera. <laughs> yeah, you're just like the shakiest. Anyway, it's fine, Cedric. I appreciate all the things. Do you have any other questions? I know you love to ask questions, and you've done a very good job of not asking questions. The but feedback I, I got. Here's a question that I could never answer, and that. So what happens if you just won the lottery? You just had a billion dollars right now. Like, what are you buying? What are you doing? You know, a billion dollar lottery. Yeah, had control of Ventador. Yeah. yeah, you just have infinite money. You can just do basically just do whatever you want for the rest of your life. Basically, what do you do? Like early series F1 car with the motor in the back and just drive that on the street daily. Yeah, yeah. Just waste all your money on. Getting your car taken off the road and your license suspended. And... <laughs> what, wouldn't but even have a license. It. Wouldn't even have a license. I wouldn't even bother with the process. It wouldn't matter. Yeah. I would just drive an F1 car on the road. It wouldn't matter. I okay. feel like I'd probably but rather have again, an F1 car on the track, you know, where you could actually use it. Like, you're going to get stuck on, like, the tiniest little, like, bump in the road. Yeah, here's what actually happens. The tires yeah, like, won't get work, to that car. The won't work. Like, no, like the early ones that are like kind of look like a missile with like the V8 in the back and kind of just like small and shitty. Uh, the ones that have like no safeties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you need safety, right? The theme with you is <laughs> yeah. no safety. No safety. Um, yeah, my picture is Cedric gets that car, drives it, and then immediately the next day he's calling Kevin and Gerard to be like, "Hey, I put it in the ditch, and I need you to come get me." Yeah. Yeah, I'd need Kevin to drive behind me with my wheelchair because, like, I can't fit a wheelchair in that car. Well, I mean, at that, oh, we would just make like do any. You got so much money, man. You just do whatever you want. No, I have so much money. I just buy buy like a. Lambert, buy Kevin. Kevin yeah, just <laughs> buy <laughs> Kevin to drive behind me. Yeah, I just buy, <laughs> I buy a buy nice I, Lamborghini I, or something I, for Kevin, Kevin to drive. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, what do you call? What? What do you cost to drive? I mean, it depends if you're. I mean, it depends if you're buying by the minute or the hour or the week or yeah, the year. Yeah, what's your overhead you know? on that yeah. thing? Yeah. Yearly, yearly, volume, volume discounts, you know. Somebody you can't drive any me. car you want to drive. As long as it heads two seats. Pretty cheap, I guess. I'd be uh, driving around. Yeah. And I'd be driving around. I mean, I guess you could just buy me an LFA then, you know. I'd follow you around in the LFA. Perfect. Uh, put a roof rack on it. Put the wheelchair up there. There we go. I do feel like LFA is pretty high on my list of cars that I would would like in like a no-holds-bar situation. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's pretty rad. I did. I was gonna say on the subject of Kevin, I did get a messages about 
Kevin's shirt that he wore to the checkpoint. <laughs> I mean, well, we made a whole post about it, so I would have. Well, I did, and this. people were like, "Yeah, they were like, yo, dude, is that fully a cowboy shirt that he ripped his sleeves off?'" That's of? only because you've never seen that shirt before. That's I mean, yeah. that shirt's like older than Serial Nine. Yeah, that mm. shirt is so. <laughs> my favorite so part about it, though, he just brought it back. No, it's like, yeah, yeah, no, but my storage. favorite part about it, hang on, is that most of the time when I'm with Kevin, he wears Serial Nine apparel. Like he makes a like, you know, it's like oh, I'm out there and he's repping. He wore Serial Nine apparel to the event, and then was like, I need to go to the bathroom and get changed. And then like, so he got there and changed in to his superhero outfit. And then it, the night ends with Kevin in the street holding a giant serial nine flag <laughs> while Mikey's doing a burnout. And it's pretty great. Anyway. Yeah. That's a yeah. good time. It was a good time. <clears throat> All right. In, in Japan, it's called a 450 GT. It's a Fuga 50, 450 GT. I, I don't think it's a car for me. Just the Does look it of it? Or? It's a it makes car. too much sense. It looks like yeah. a Toyota. It looks like a Toyota. No, it doesn't. It's got the exact same suspension. It, as looks, a G35. Exa- it looks exactly like a G35. <laughs> I know. It, it's a big car, though. Like The reason why I like Nissans are because they're small cars. They're light. They're that right, is a this, Nissan. But the thing so is, the guy who just a, bought this... a Toyota had a previously had a Toyota and still currently owns a Toyota. <laughs> yeah. If you're, just, if, was, if you're just... Yeah. If, I was if going you're just tuning in... Nissan, uh, Logic what, doesn't what often enter into Cedric's decision making. Yeah. If I want to go, Cedric? if I want to go back to a Nissan, I'd have to go with like a smaller chassis. What would you get? I would, I think I would go for like an S13 or something. I mean, good luck. Well, with that. What are you? Yeah. What are you made of money now? I, yeah, exactly. I mean, in this it's in this crazy world, it sounds like I am. <laughs> no, we've gone back to reality. We're in we're in the You've real already world. Now. Yeah, you've already spent your money on your F, your old, your old yeah, vintage F one F one car, the four fifty GT. It's weird for me to say this, but like, it's not. I look, it's not for me, but also, it's not like the Soar is like a small car. No, no, this thing weighs That's less and guaranteed would drive better than the Soar, hundred percent. The, the Soar is a big car compared to the R thirty two. R32 is nice. Listen, and Cedric, the R32, R32 is gone. It's not coming back. Just get another one of those. Well, that's what I'm saying. R32 is like, makes sense. But no, no, but hang on. You said S13 makes sense. R13, R32 makes more sense. It has a hatch. Hatches are cool. Hatches are cool, and I agree. But I think cost for ease here is... I'm not but, trying to tell you how uh, to live your life. The have Fuga we not sounds neat. realized Ryan, that that Cedric doesn't do anything the easy way? The, no, I've gathered that he doesn't do anything the easy way, and he does the same thing over and over again. And the two things that I learned <laughs> that's like what like what makes Cedric Cedric is like do things the hardest way possible and always do them. <laughs> sounds like a guy. I I sounds like a guy. No, used to do that all the time. Who's that? Son, Kevin. That's 100% what Kevin used to do. Oh, you hear what that, Cedric? What do you mean, what do you mean used to? <laughs> you Kevin are the same person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you That's why we're best friends. <laughs> yeah, you and you and Kevin. We just love Got beating it, our head yeah. against the wall together. We can make a yeah. beat. <laughs> Put it together and drive the fucking thing. I guarantee you'll have more seat time in that car with less problems than fucking all your cars put together. Oof. I don't know. I don't know. The R32 is like pretty much like perfect car. Dude, is R32, it, is it, that's it's the closest hundred you're years old. Get to an R32. Yeah, it's a hundred yeah. years old. It's going to come with some, okay, what RB is it going to come with? 25? 20. 20. No, it's going to come with a 20. So then what? It's yeah. going to make fucking 200 horsepower. You're going to put five grand into it. It's going to make 250 horsepower. No, you don't touch what? the motor. You don't touch well, the motor. No. RB20. Yeah, but you, no. you never touch an RB20. So it yeah, has now you it. It's amazing. So now yeah, you have a 200 you... horsepower drift car? Yeah. Yeah. It, and then you don't go through tires. Okay. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying. And I agree with you 10 years ago. 
but you're taking the same fucking car and it's rat but first of all you got to find one because they're all yeah, rat bags exactly. of shit and that's and if they, even if they're not rat bags of shit they're expensive as shit so now you're going to pay S13s 20 grand are also expensive yeah you could pay 20 that's grand for an R32 that makes 200 fucking horsepower and it's <laughs> falling apart at the seams because it's a Nissan and it's fucking 35 years old or whatever 25 years old i mean it's more than 25 years old now isn't it it's like almost 89. 30. Yeah, it's almost yeah. 30 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Also, Cedric, you're probably looking at the skyline with like rose colored glasses. Yeah. 100%. You've grown as a person and now you've had this. Like, It'd be funny to put you in one tomorrow and then like re interview you again. Yeah. You know how many clutch pedal brackets I've fucking fixed on those things? Because they just all of a sudden, I mean, I know you don't have to press it. They clutch, come off the like, firewall, yeah. No, they just, they just fucking break in half because they're made of like tin. they just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to push a clutch pedal. No, like I have no clutch now because actually the pedal bracket is broken. Like, Did that happen to uh, Gordon? Yeah, it happened to Gordon <laughs> in Astasia. Yeah. Cedric, I think what happened to you now it's something that you don't yeah. want to hear, but you've probably grown as a person, and the car that you drove like ten years ago is better in your memory than it is <laughs> it, it in is. reality. It, yeah, like you'd probably be like, "Oh shit, that's not at all how I remember <laughs> it." Like, yeah. So, so you're saying I need to buy an S13? No, I also don't <laughs> think you need to buy an S13. I think. In this one instance, for this, which is goes against most of all of the podcasts, I'll agree with Gerard and say Gerard's <laughs> probably got like. I don't think you should get rid of the sore. I think that's great, and I think I you should continue that. In there. I know you yeah, said it's probably a a forever car, and I think that's great. So don't get rid of it. Live that life. Continue that endeavor. But also, so, I think Gerard so, might be onto something. I mean, so you're yeah. saying. Instead of having one project car, I should have two project cars and put equally amount of money in both of them. It sounds like if you were listening, the <laughs> M45 doesn't require as much money and could be had for far less money. It's basically the skyline to you. You just drive it yeah, right yes. now and don't put any money into it ever. Yeah. And, but, and yeah. it doesn't go through tires. Yeah. But it's still going to be that car money. makes like 300 horsepower. But like, all you'd have to do would be to take out weight, right? Which you'd probably have anyway. Just yeah, throw the you, throw the wheelchair in the back. You don't need fucking seats. You do like yeah, six, you six, probably money. like six to one events though. You still need money. Yeah, but you that's what I mean. You forego one event with the soar, and it allows you to do six events with the other car. I don't know if six would be like actual number. Rick and I were talking at the Panic GP about that, and it's like the cars now are sort of at the level where it's like you go a tiny bit more than the level you're at, and it's it's ridiculous. Because, I mean, he brought, I think, 15 gallons of of gas he, with him. He, Rick? No, yeah. he, he's on. Oh. he was running 110 or whatever. And then, yeah, it's like, you know, you brought like eight to ten tires. You towed your car there. You had the accommodations. Like, normally there's an event fee. And it's like, you know, the car, the, once the car is like a bit crazier than that, and it's it's like, then you can't, you know, you fully can't drive the car. Like, it just it just starts to snowball. And, like, you probably could do like three, four, five, six events with like a small low power car that you could drive to the track and run on pump gas Versus a car that you have to do all that other stuff, trailer it, you know? So, a 91 S13 is where it's at. What are S13. you listening to yeah, right like, now? No. What is happening? That's a thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 car. If not more. Like, it's a lot that, of money for that. You could barely that's sell the, your soar and get that car. That's that's the initial investment. After that, all the event fees will be cheaper, though, you just said. How, how are the event fees cheaper? What? No, all well, the, the event. Like, yeah, cost. that's what I'm saying. Many tires. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so get out of your head this, like, fantasy about having an S13 and just get this M45, and that's what we're talking about. You're trying to apply this to this other car that costs yeah, no. 20 times too much. Like. <laughs> Get an M45 but, and take all of the seats out of it, Cedric. I don't want to. Why don't I just keep the sore? Finish the sore and drive yes, that. Yes, keep the sore. 
Keep the sword. Do that. That's a great. And idea. Also, I'll tell you why he doesn't want to do it because it looks too fucking nice. It I look oh. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can help you wrap it with some fucking purple, like sparkly ah. shit, and put four different wheels on it that you know they don't fit well. I and then, then you will appeal to you, you know. <laughs> I don't wow. know. I, I feel. I feel like I think I'd have the same like situation with Kevin when he got the G thirty five, where he drove it for like a year, and then he was like, "I don't like this." It's but that car was not a fucking awesome sounding V8. It was a shitty sounding V6. These cars sound yeah. sick, and the fucking they're, they, the, these engines are so sick, dude. Yo, maybe I'll just buy it. You've convinced me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna fucking buy this car tomorrow. Like. Yeah, Kevin's gonna have <laughs> all the V8 sedans right away from all the Japanese. You guys should buy it, and then when it when when you want to sell it, I'll take it. You'll have no money then. You'll be oh, I got no money. Exactly. You'll see how good it is and how awesome it is, and then you'll just be like, "Fuck! I should have bought it. Can I buy it off you guys?" We're like, "No way, man! It's great. Why would we ever sell it?" I yeah, I'll I guess like, what good. I'm asking is for you to just realize your full potential right now. The thing is, is I don't need horse to... at the wheels. Okay, because you were saying you like the Seamus or whatever, or a Cedric. Sorry. No, I don't like them. I like the Cedric. Only so for the name. Cedric. Only right, for, the for the name. name. But I mean, this thing's called a Fuga. That's a pretty cool name, isn't it? Yeah. Forgot about it. Hey. Yeah. Hey, forgot. I don't think Yo, I forgot send... about it. Yeah. Who got you? Buy one as a daily. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, can, you can you can daily that one. Just get Cam to fix you it. Could and then... daily. That's no, thing. it I could would... be a daily and a drift car. I, I'd want a right hand drive one though. Okay. Okay. Well, then it's going to cost you more than fucking four grand. They're not well, that there cheap. Go. They're cheap, but they're not that cheap. There you go. I should just keep the sore. We all agree I mean, I that you should keep it. the sore. I never said sell the sore. But I should just continue driving the sore. <laughs> but you could actually drift this car, I think, was the argument. Like, pretty quick. I, I mean, I feel like I could probably drift the Corolla pretty quick. No. <laughs> the problem no. is for the amount of money. No. Listen, the amount of money <laughs> that you're going to put in. Into the sore right, right now, no, no, to make it kind of work. What was it? What did I miss? He's Cedric like, was like, I'm gonna be able to drift the Corolla pretty quickly here. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was just laughing. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Man. Just think, just imagine this, Cedric. Imagine this for the amount of money you had into that Civic, you could have yeah. a legit drift car. That is also know, a daily. Well, that is brand new. You'd have to, well, you'd have to fix new, it if it has a daily. It has all yeah, yeah. sorts of new features and amenities. But, uh, yeah, I what mean, I'm fuck saying those features, is... Just take all that shit out and put a two couple of buckets in it. And... I, feel, I feel like there's features the same aren't argument. the seat, but yeah, you know what I mean? Dude's there's got there's a car same... that only has a fucking AM radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, he could take... Like power windows, a... a fucking fob. These are amenities. Yeah, yeah. He could get a Fuga GT whatever and have like one could take most of the seats out so it would be easy to put like the chair in and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Still if you want to put like a race seat or whatever in but still have like probably like climate control and a good yeah. stereo and AC yeah. maybe even a backup camera like all of the things and he's sitting here arguing for this like fucked up like Corolla from 1982 that's gonna be okay. like the the cure all of everything so for anybody listening this is now the true Cedric this is what we were talking about earlier how it's like 30 questions with Cedric and then super stubborn like whatever you say I'm not gonna listen to because I'm Cedric so this is is now come out this is the true Cedric I mean I just don't <laughs> want the car. <laughs> that's fine, and I that's, get that. That's reasonable, yeah. Uh, that is yeah. totally reasonable, but right, I do right. Think what if I told you you had to have a BMW? <laughs> this is, do this I, is like every time Gerard tries to convince you a BMW is a good car, and you're like, no, I don't like BMW. Dude, can I keep the Aristo? Sure. 
but you're only going to drive the BMW. You're just going to have the Arisco in name. You're only going to drive the BMW. And am I you and I want to drift? Like, I understand. Okay, I'm going to say this. Like, I understand your point of, like, not loving a car. Because, like, I, like, say tumultuous shit about G35s and 350s all the time. So I get (laughs) that point of view. But you also, like, did you love the Civic? Like, is a Civic, like, a high-priority oh, car for you? The Civic was super fun to drive. But that's not what I'm asking. I'm not asking if it was a fun car. I'm asking oh, if it's that, like... It was an amazing car. Again, not what I'm asking. What are you asking? <laughs> did you <laughs> love the Civic? Is the Civic, like, a car that you felt I must own that Civic with that engine in it and that all the things. When you bought the Civic, like it was it like a bucket list car for you or like anything. Like, do you romanticize that car? Do you like? Yes. Okay. I think, I think after owning it, that's after not what I'm asking. Owning it. Yeah. That's what he's saying. I always, I, always, in. I always wanted that gen of Civic. That gen okay. creation of Civic was like a cool car. Okay. And then when you bought the Corolla, you bought it because it was the closest you could get to an 8.6. Yes. So it's not an 8.6. It's not an 8.6. <laughs> so it's like a comp, it's a bit of a compromise. It's a compromise. I could never afford an 8.6. Sure. So what I think the difference is, is like, Sometimes when Gerard and I have the conversation about BMWs, it feels like in my world, the BMW should be a replacement for the Aristo. Like it shouldn't be like an add on. It should be like. That's because that's the way you're thinking. Maybe you need to change your thinking. Maybe. Just like like the way you're asking Cedric to change his thinking. Yeah, for sure. I am. (laughs) Look, man, advice is a funny thing, Kevin. I know, right? Change. Yeah, but uh, in my in my world, if I'm gonna have one, I can have one fun car and one like whatever car. It feels like in <laughs> Cedric's world, he can have like a wild car and a fun car, and they can both kind of be weapons in their own right. They're tools that he can use to get a job done in their own right, and like realistically. Given the choice, this is going to, I don't, this isn't me throwing shade, but maybe a little bit. If it was a comp between this not quite an 8.6 and a, and a Fuga, I would probably take the Fuga. Well, I mean, and I'm also, probably, it's a yeah. not quite a 240. It's not quite a 240. It's just newer and differenter and like has all the things already. Like, you know what I mean? I'd say that for the price of the Fuga, Versus the not quite eight six, I could have bought four not quite eight sixes for that price of the Fuga. That's not true, Cedric. You know that's not true because the one you found was a, was a deal, <laughs> and like you couldn't even buy four of those fucking cars if you wanted to because they just don't exist. And that's also, saying, why would you buy four of them? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying though. Is <clears throat> The this only reason why I well, have... what I'm saying is your that Corolla with another three thousand dollars into it still will not be as good of a drift car as that. M45. I mean, three thousand dollars is fucking okay. nothing, Cedric, because you're paying for labor. I could put a a fucking shitty four AC in that fucking car for three thousand dollars because you paid two thousand five hundred dollars in labor and five hundred dollars for the fucking engine. <laughs> I like don't for a person that has to pay for labor, you should be buying a car that's out of the box. Doesn't need you any should, labor. You should be buying a fucking BMW. Yeah. Or a oh, fucking now you've done it, Cedric. You opened Pandora's box. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you did buy a car that has. You're you're building a car with a transmission of a BMW. <laughs> the Corolla is not better. It is. It's just what I have. But I'm sure. saying the Fuga could be what you have, you know? You could sell that Corolla for, and get three quarters of that Fuga money. You could probably sell that Corolla straight up for the Fuga. Yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, this has turned into a weird intervention. I invite you to look at things differently. And I do occasionally, to Kevin's point, look at things differently, but not Gerard's BMW thing. I do still entertain the idea of an ISF based on the conversations that we've had. I am willing to change my mind, just not in this moment, not yet. But also... I, th yeah. I think an ISF would suit you so well, Ryan. So well. I agree. That, that ISF and Ryan Benoit, that's like a match made in heaven. Probably <laughs> is the right answer, but we're not there just yet. And maybe, Cedric, you're not ready to give up on... It seems like you have an affinity for old cars that are a giant headache, is what... <laughs> And then, and Gerard has an affinity for new cars that are also a giant headache. <laughs> and, and yeah, anyway. I just, like not to, always I just like to modify my car until it is a giant headache. I feel like you're, none of your cars are really giant headaches, Kevin. Yeah. Every car is a giant headache, let's be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you image fucking well, work I've done on the goddamn Blit just to like, drive it home and be like, oh, it's actually quiet in here when I close the fucking windows. Like, that's that was a giant headache to take every fucking door panel out and cut little pieces of fucking sound deadening and shove them up into the fucking doors and take the fucking panels out and shove more little fucking sound deadening. It's a fucking headache, man. And it's that Toyota. A, it's wild. Right? I had to fix the rear fucking window on that car four fucking times. The You know, fuck, that's all a headache, man. Tell, you know? tell me how many times you had to fix your BMWs. <laughs> the blue one, none. The well, white the headliner one, was an bunch. issue on the BMW. Oh, that's right. You're right. I did fix the headliner on the blue one. You're Common right. problem. I forget about the... that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that we've learned that Cedric is tenacious and stubborn. Yes, yeah, extremely. And like uh, Cedric, I get it. I don't. I don't always like taking other people's advice, and I don't. I want you to do whatever brings you joy. If not quite an eight six makes you smile, <laughs> even though it doesn't check any of the boxes you told me were your boxes, <laughs> then by all means, that's because he bought live it. That life. Yeah. Ah, all my cars need to be right-hand drive, except this car. And I really like an 86, <laughs> but I can't have an 86. So uh, I love to make compromises, but not those compromises, right? You know, anyway. <laughs> Ryan, I think Ryan's the star of this show by like 100%. This is this is the Ryan show through and through. It's oh, bad. Jesus. Uh, yo, okay, I, well. I, I wanted to add one more thing uh, to the listeners that give a fuck. Um, so I put that Artec manifold on my car and I was all disappointed and super butt hurt and hated it. And I don't like the sound of my car and it drove fucked up. Uh, I went back for a little bit of a tune up with Paulo AES and, uh, I don't know what the fuck we did. We like ramped in the boost faster and like maybe added a bit more timing and just basically made it. So it spools as fast as I want it to spool and it fucking rips. It is amazing to drive it's got torque everywhere it's it's super responsive it sounds cooler i don't know i mean the exhaust doesn't sound cooler but the turbo is always spooled so it's just like sounds you know that turbo whistling fucking sound sounds rad um it is definitely i highly <laughs> recommend this turbo and i think the manifold is giving it a bit better something so whatever like anybody that's looking for a really, really sick bolt on uh, turbo for your 1JC VBTI, definitely get this Serial 9 SPL 400R. It is amazing. Um, I'll probably take some videos of my car soon because I am driving it again, the Blit, and the response is insane. I have a photo where it's making 20 pounds of boost at 3,700 RPM, which is fucked. It's, it's really, really sick. So, yeah, those will be available on our site shortly, probably by the time you listen to this. You can go to the section where it says, what's it going to say, Kevin? Uh, I don't really know. We don't really know yet. Turbo. It'll, be, it'll be there. It'll be like, it'll be on the front page. Yeah, it'll be on the front page. <laughs> and also, so yeah, that'll be sort of like a stage one bolt-on upgrade, like a stock replacement turbo. 
You don't need much to run that. You don't need like a full standalone or injectors or anything. Although I do have that to maximize its potential. My car makes uh, 350 horse at the wheels and 300 and I don't know how much torque, but it's it's a good amount and it's fairly low in the RPM. Um, but we are working on another turbo kit, which is sort of like a, let's call it a stage two. So it's like a economy top mount super quick spool turbo um with a manifold that's economical but it is tubular and it's an external wastegate so yeah cool. keep an eye out for that that is great hey who are you working on that with uh that is with a spectrum hey, motorsports chris chris screvin uh, and it will be our own manifold it will be our own tubular manifold um, oh cool yeah all right on well that's great Hey, God damn it! What I was going to say was I wanted to thank Cedric for coming on the podcast. Thank not, you, Cedric. Not oh, asking thank us you a for ton having of questions. Me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and sharing your story. Also, just sitting through us, really, like you answered all of our questions. You were great, <laughs> and then you put up with us just fucking peppering you with yeah. your life choices. About Every cars. decision you made is wrong. <laughs> yeah, I want to say I do truly enjoy spending time with Cedric. It's always great. It's always a pleasure. Lots of fun. My drive Dylan. to Weekfest would Dylan. not have been as okay. Maybe, probably, would not have been as much fun if Cedric wasn't with me. And so that's really great. Uh, yeah. So, you know what, Cedric? Thanks for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Hey, you know, is a thing that I've never realized, but then I started listening to podcasts. A lot of people write in and tell us what they think about the podcast, which I do really appreciate. What would also be helpful for us appreciate is you. if you leave a leave a review about the podcast. If you like oh, the podcast, uh, yeah, you can review. Leave, you can review on Spotify now, and you can ask questions also. Yeah, you can you can ask. Uh, yeah, you can go to the episode and like be like, hey, I have a question about this, and it like it'll pop up for us. So. Yeah, which would be great. If you have negative feedback, leave it on another podcast that isn't ours. Yeah. And, uh, Does my audio sound good? Am I, am I, yeah. am I good? Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, again, thank you, everyone who uh, tuned in. Hopefully this one was technical enough for people who needed hand controls for car. I don't know. I don't Whatever. Uh, all uh, the you things. You didn't really talk about the hand controls. You said they fell off of the Civic. I feel like that was good enough. This is true. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Mm. Well, thanks, everyone. Thanks for listening. And like I said, reach out to us. Yeah. Leave a review. Do the things. Appreciate you, you. You can reach out to Cedric on Instagram and follow oh, him. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, uh, you... yeah, I think you can. Is What's your oh. Instagram? It's yeah, let's uh, do that. SID underscore five five eight. SID. What is it? SID SID underscore five five eight. Why is it SID, okay. by the way? Uh, I don't know. Because he couldn't spell said. Yeah. <laughs> said Perfect. Sid. There we go. All right. Great. Well, I'm following you on Instagram, well. Cedric. Okay, bye. You were before? <laughs> you were? Yeah, what is this? What what a what a terrible way to end it. Right, right. Yeah, I, I feel betrayed. Yeah, I mean it's a bit of a, anyway. We can talk about that another time. Literally, literally, yeah, you I just got a notification. What a jerk. Yeah, I'm really bad. Oh, horrible. I follow you now, that's what matters. Anyway, okay. okay well bye. Thanks for listening to Serial Podcast 9.